Colossus is the most advanced lineup optimizer in daily fantasy sports. Lock and exclude players. Adjust player exposure to reduce risk of injury or poor performance. Customize individual projections or upload your own projections. Generate hundreds of optimal lineups in seconds. Name and save the best lineups. Create winning lineups for the top sites like DraftKings and FanDuel for free at DailyFantasyCafe.com. Hello and welcome to the DraftKings Daily Trot. I'm Big Italy 42 here talking about this small little four-game slate tonight. Not a whole lot to see, but I'll keep this one short and sweet for you here. Looking at starting pitcher, obviously you have to have two on DraftKings, and the two that most people are going to be playing are pretty obvious. You got Zach Grinke at the Angels facing off against Nick Tropiano. Obviously we know Zach Grinke, and one of the best pitchers in all of baseball all season long. Um, I mean, he's just been incredibly consistent. Over the last 30 days, still putting up great numbers, small walk rate, strike rate, strikeout rate of 25%, 14.1% swing strike rate. Um, obviously, he comes in as a uh, sizable favorite, minus 170 in this one. Angels offense, as you know, struggling. Seven run total, so he's your obvious top play, but he's $14,000. He's tough, but on a short slate like this, going to be really hard to match that production with anyone else. So, uh, Grinky's your obvious cash game top option. Number two, though, Jordana Ventura, guy who has been up and down throughout his career, but absolutely tremendous over the past month. I mean, you look at his numbers in the last 30 days, and, I mean, this guy's pitching like an ace. 33.3% strikeout rate, 48.6% um, ground ball rate, .28 home runs per nine. All of those numbers much better than Zach Grinke's, actually. 2.63 xFIP, 12.8% swing strike rate you love. You don't like the 10.1% walk rate, but he's done a good job of limiting damage in these situations over the past month, and he's done against some pretty good offenses too. So this is a guy that is, uh, I, I still say, a secondary option as far as cash games go to Granke, but uh, I'm definitely going to be pairing those two if, in cash games tonight. I think Ventura, a great GPP option as well. I think he easily has the highest ceiling of anyone not named Granke tonight. Other options, there are not many. Royanus Elias is a guy who has not pitched well recently, but this is a guy that does do a good job of keeping the ball on the ground. It is a big ballpark. Texas is a below-average team against left-handed pitching, so if I have to choose a third option, and obviously, oh, there's only eight starting pitchers tonight, so your options are limited. I think Elias is the guy that I'd be going with. We've got Tommy Malone at KC. Did pitch very well last time out against the White Sox, but Kansas City's a team that does not strike out. We've got a lot of guys who hit left-handed pitching very well, so you can consider him in, uh, in some tournaments, but he just doesn't have much upside because, like I said, Kansas City, as you probably know by now, strikes out less than the, uh, any team in baseball. I'm not touching any of these other guys. Harang against Atlanta is an okay option if you had to pay down. But, I mean, you look at his last six game logs, five, four of those games, negative points. So, I mean, you're absolutely just hoping and praying for a miracle there, playing him. Williams Perez, absolutely abysmal against left-handed pitching, left-handed batters. He's another guy who's been awful recently. I'm not touching him. Giovanni Gallardo at Seattle. Gallardo has been all right recently, but $8,600, I mean, you could play him in some tournaments because he probably has a, a better floor than all these other guys. But at the same time, not much stealing, though. It's a Seattle team that strikes out. Um, about a league average amount. They hit righties well. And and, and uh, Gallardo has a 12.1% strikeout rate over the last 30 days. So those are your few options at pitcher. Looking over at catchers here, there's not a whole lot to see here either. you got Yasmani Grandal at $3,100 against Dick Tropiano. Guy who's been awful over the past month or so. But he's got that split. He's been good from left side of plate overall this season. Not quite so much recently. A um, couple other guys you can look at. A.J. Przinsky, if he's in. $3,400 a lefty against Aaron Harang. Harang struggles against lefties. Struggles against everyone right now, but lefties in particular. I mean, those are the main guys I'm looking at here at catcher. There's not a whole lot else to see. I'm really not trying to target Aaron. I'm not trying to target Granke. I'm really not trying to target Ventura. So I guess other guys you can look at. Sal Perez who throughout his career has hit lefties well, has not done it this season, $3,400. He's probably your other decent option there, but really nothing else to see here. First base options, there's quite a few guys. I think the chalk play is going to be Freddie Freeman, and rightfully so as a lefty against Aaron Harang. Freeman's been great when he's been healthy this year. Been on the DL a couple times, but over 200 ISO, nearly a 400 low bug against righties. you got to like him. Kendris Morales is a guy who hits lefties well. Does not have a very high ISO, barely 100 there, but I think he's a good option uh, against Tommy Malone. Adrian Gonzalez is another guy you can consider there at $4,100. He just continues to be much cheaper than you would think. 
And then your other options, Ryan Howard mentioned Williams Perez. His 390 will allow to lefties. I'm going to be getting myself quite a bit of lefties from Philly. Lefty switch hitters. There are quite a bit of them, so I'm looking at those guys. Mark Trumbo, $3,700 in his matchup against Giovanni Gallardo. Gallardo has been one of those guys who has been a little bit better against righties. 288 Wobo allowed is actually pretty good overall this season, but Trumbo's shown a lot of power recently, so if you're looking for tournaments, that's a good target for you there. And then as far as cheap options, there's really not a lot to like. Darren Ruff's a guy that usually plays against lefties, but he's seen some time against righties recently, so if he plays... $2,200 $2,200 punt there. I think he's a decent option as well. I'm really not looking at a lot of these guys in lefty-lefty matchups. Prince Fielder, Mitch Moreland, just not a big fan there. Second base options, of course, for me, it's Ben Zobris, and it's not even close. It's $4,400. He's been smashing left-handed pitching. Malone, 337 Wolpa to righties, so that's definitely a situation you can be exploiting. Odubel Herrera has been hitting well again. He's $3,500, another guy hitting from the left side against Williams Perez. Robbie Cano at home, he has not been very good recently. It's been an okay cash game play, but not showing a lot of upside. He had that little power surge after the struggle early in the season, but really taking his time getting it going again. So I think he's an okay option, probably more of a cash game play. Justin Turner, $3,300 in righty-righty matchups. Turner's been great against righties this season, much better than he has against lefties, so you got to like that. Chase Utley, if you need a cheaper option, at $3,100 is a fine way to look as well. Darnell Sweeney. $2,300, I keep talking about him. He's been hitting well since he came up. Another guy, switch hitter, against Williams Perez. This is probably the guy that I'll be going with more often than not and saving Zobers for the outfield because I'm not in love with any of these other options here. You can look at Brian Dozier in the tournament, of course. Does have a ton of power. Hasn't been hitting great recently, and Ventura has been very good, but in tournaments, I'll give him a look. Same goes for his teammate at third base, Miguel Sano, but tournament only, $4,900. Coming off of a couple... Subpar performances, but that's at, on the heels of th- home runs and three straight games. So we know the kind of power he has. Ventura has been known to be wild at times. He's been great recently, but certainly Minnesota, nice uh, contrarian stack here because you got to imagine that Ventura is going to be very popular tonight. Kyle Seeger, though, my favorite third base option against Gallardo. Seeger's been great recently. 19 hits in his last 10 starts. He's got five homers and three doubles over that span, too. So easily for me at $3,800, he's the guy I'm looking at. Adrian Beltre, we know his career, his history of hitting lefties hard. One of those guys who's been just pretty good recently, 3,500, but you got to like him against Reynas Elias, who's been getting hit pretty hard as well. Another guy with a uh, little bit of power down there, Adonis Garcia, at $3,100. I don't love that price tag, but you got to get creative in your GPPs today, so I don't think that's a bad way to look. And that's really about it at third base. I mean, there's nobody else down here at the bottom that I feel even decent about, so those are all some skips for me. Shortstop options. I'll see these Escobar's $3,500. He's the guy we always talk about. He's just an average hitter against lefties and against righties, but it's a good offense and a good spot, so you can certainly consider him. Eduardo Escobar's been incredible recently. I'm not trying to pick on Ventura again, but if you need a consistent option at shortstop, I think he's fine. Jimmy Rollins will probably be the popular play at 3200 I would imagine, as a lefty against Tropiano, so give him a look if you need a cheap guy that is in a decent spot, not a great spot. Another guy who's been hitting well when he since he's come up, only made a few starts though, but Sean O'Malley at men's salary, if he's in, he's had a couple huge games already. Facing off against Gallardo, I think he's going to be a great punt play if he's in the lineup. Outside of that, I'm not forcing any of these guys in. you got Ibar against Granky, no thanks for me there. Andres Blanco you could consider against Perez, but uh, not a guy that I love. Outfield, final position for you here. Lorenzo Cain leads the way for me against Malone. He's had incredible numbers against lefties this season. Pairing him and Ben Zobris has been a very profitable way to go when they're facing a lefty. Uh, Mike Trout obviously gets Zach Grinke. He has had some success against him, one of the few players who has. 4,500. He's obviously just a tournament option. Nelson Cruz could be returning today or tomorrow. Keep your eye on that. He's listed as day-to-day right now. Hasn't played in a few days, but if he does play today, you got to like him at home against the righty and Gallardo, who has been struggling, like I mentioned. Going down a little bit, another guy who's day-to-day, Franklin Gutierrez. If he comes back, you got to like him. He's been absolutely on fire recently. Been hitting lefties harder than righties, but mentioned Gallardo not missing any bats, and the guy that hits the ball as hard as he does certainly needs to be on your radar. Aaron Altair as well, $3,800. Phillies will probably be pretty popular. It's a nice high total there, as they should be, so I'll definitely be giving him a look. Also, 
If you're looking down here for cheap options, Aldubo Herrera, who I mentioned earlier, also has outfield eligibility. Josh Hamilton is in a lefty-lefty against Reynos Elias. He's actually been a decent hitter against lefties if he's in the lineup throughout his career. You don't love him, though. I'd prefer Andre Ethier at 3,100. He actually has great elite numbers almost against righties this season, but continues to be very cheap. Seth Smith also, nice value play at $2,900. I'm giving him a look as well. And then, of course, Johnny Gomes, your value punt play with a platoon advantage against a lefty in Malone, seemingly facing a lefty every single night now. So he's going to be your, your definite. Uh, most popular cheap option there. And that's going to wrap things up. Find us on Twitter at DF Cafe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out all of our great content at dailyfantasycafe.com.